join us again. Where was the orange hippopotamus? I was literally mid song thinking of dropping it in, but I didn't know. Oh, come on. Well, maybe, well, we still got another song coming up later on, so maybe then. We'll throw it in. Yeah. Although I'm, I'm kind of going to cheat a little bit because there's one quick fire question that I wanted to ask that I missed. Okay, go. Um, quick. Ketchup, fridge or cupboard? Fridge. This is. No, I have this no, argument no, with cupboard. People. Yeah, because I've got very sort of everyone split across the middle. It's been really bugging me. I was arguing about this with someone the other day. It definitely belongs in the cupboard. No, no. fridge. I think yeah, I put cupboard. most things in a fridge. Yeah, but it's just weird. Who puts ketchup in the fridge? Yeah, like yeah, I don't understand that. So yeah. Usually you have ketchup with. Oh, no, I don't understand that. Where do you keep it in the cupboard? I keep it in the cupboard. Yeah. Maybe may I don't know. Maybe maybe it's but a London it's like, thing. Where do you keep mustard? Mustard, that's... Um, mustard is in the cupboard. I, Mustard's no, a cupboard I'd, as well. Mustard I'd put in the fridge. Where do you draw the line? Like, what condiments go where? I don't know anymore. I don't know. Mayonnaise. This, this isn't... This is, <laughs> Where, yeah, that definitely goes in the fridge. This just, yeah, so it's the same thing. So you buy it in a shop, like, on the shelf, but then you put it in your fridge when you've opened it. That See, makes sense. I share a fridge with, like, four other people, so we don't have a lot of fridge space, so, you know, only necessities do go in the fridge. People eat your food? No. That's pretty good. Yeah, I've got pretty good housemates, so... I, I just get takeaways every day. I have no food mm, in my fridge. Healthy living. Mm, I know. I shouldn't say that. We <laughs> eat healthy, everyone who's watching. And you send out a good message. Healthy today. eating. Yeah. Um, how's it been going on the tour in terms of eating? Have, have you been kind of rushed or has it been quite nice and you've had time to go? Because I think, it was it Ben Goddard said that he was eating mm. on the road all the time, so he's having to get lots of takeaways? Or have you had a bit yeah, quite spread I out? Yeah, I haven't... Yeah, I, I found that, like, when I actually have things to do, I don't eat as much. But normally I eat a lot of food, <laughs> so it's probably a good thing. Um, no, I've been... Some of the universities have pretty good food as well. Although, you're, you know, um, you said your... Was it your tour manager is sick or something, so... Yeah, Jonathan. Yeah. Well, He's got conjunctivitis. Oh, hi, Jonathan, if you're don't watching. Know if hi, Jonathan. Get and well so soon. Your mum's dedication, she's stepped up and is bringing mums, you yeah. around. Yeah. Mum to the rescue. <laughs> so surely must be eating healthy. I mean, if I was on the road with my mum, which would be a bizarre thing to do. <laughs> I don't know why I go on the road with her, but she, she probably cooked for me. I imagine she'd make me eat healthy. Yeah, All these mum. biofy food. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we put it on Where the spot. Pat lunch? <laughs> I, do, um, I do a radio show on a Monday, six till eight, and my mum said, she said, oh, like, it's, it's brilliant. Like, how did the rest of the show go? And I was like, oh, it's good. Didn't you listen to all of it? And she said, no, I stopped watching it. Um, I stopped listening at seven because Emmerdale was on. And I was like, That's thanks, That's dedication right there. <laughs> uh, I Emmerdale feel so sorry so for me. my parents because they've been driving me to gigs and pubs since I was 11. That's so not And have heard me play. What sort of mm, gigs have you done? Is it kind of small, you know, pubs? And... Would you like a, like a scale? Yeah. I'd say, like, from an... From a pretty much empty pub with a few really drunk elderly men um, to I did Secret Garden Party, which was pretty cool. Oh, that's really cool. I've done like some really cool festivals. I played a few primary schools as well. Some primary schools? Pretty much schools. done everything you can what's, imagine. What's your favourite? Where do you prefer to gig? Like if you could choose anywhere, where would it be? Like Anywhere. I don't mind. Do you prefer the I just like ones playing. or do you like festivals? Oh, I love, okay, festivals are really fun because everybody's there for the music, everybody's having a good time. I also think if you're not headlining as well, it kind of takes the pressure off you to like, because I mean, if it's your own headline performance, you've got to put on the best show ever because they yeah. pay to see. Whereas but if you're not headlining, festivals are really fun because everyone's really into it and everybody's joking around. It's like a massive party. And I, I do like playing pubs in London though because I've just been doing that forever. So it's like, that's home. Mind you, know the best audience is a drunk audience, so. Yeah. That's what. Well, that, that, that's the magician's did, code, but I think it's applicable to. It. No, I think I think that's true. I did a festival, um, beach break in Cornwall, and there were all these really really drunk guys, and they started break dancing to my acoustic music. It was amazing. That's not bad. <laughs> so you said I mean you did a lot of gigs in London. Have you actually have you gigs in Leicester before? Or is this the first time? Never been to Leicester before. Have you, have you had a chance to look around then, or have you just literally pulled up and come here? Ooh, pulled up, but I, I want to have a look around. It's really nice. It yeah. actually is really nice. Yeah, yeah depends right. which way you go. I think if you go that way into town, it's lovely. If you go that way towards suburbs, it's all right. Ooh, so basically, we're going to the suburbs. <laughs> no, we're going to suburbs. If you go that way, go into town. I saw lovely. a bit of the town, it was really sweet. Yeah, it's nice. Here. Peaceful. So, what do you do before, before you're going to perform live? Is that, do you have any like pre show rituals to get ready? When I'm playing with my band, they tend to beat up on me. They're really mean to me before Aww. I go on. 
But no, I don't have any. I should probably come up with some. I when I play gigs, I um, write my set list on my arm. Okay. Um, which is like, I guess, a pre-show ritual. I always get told off by everybody for not thinking about my set and writing it too last well, minute. That's right. You could you could always uh, tape it to the floor as well. I mean. It's not as fun though, is it? And everyone always thinks I'm tattered up by the end of it, so I'm in these pubs and everybody's like, So you blend, oh, you blend cool, in quite that? well. What are these words? <laughs> you, have you ever what is crayon? Yeah, that's, my <laughs> like, that's, my, that's my song. <laughs> so who, who's your band made up of? How many do you have in your band? There's, well, there's three of us, including me now. We kind of all chop and change at times, depends what's going on. I, yeah, I really like playing in a band, but I like playing on my own as well. Are they friends or like people did you... Yeah, they're really cool. They're really cool. Um, they, yeah, they're friends. Everybody that I kind of play with are friends. I've had loads of different bands. I was in a punk rock band when I was 13. Cool. That's not bad. <laughs> so how did, how did it, they didn't feel too, too upset about being bumped for this tour, did they? No, well, we only played one gig ever. Oh. And um, <laughs> didn't go too great. What, with the band or the punk, what, the punk rock band or the other My two? My punk rock band. band. Oh, I was talking about the other two members of the band. Oh, so they like, weren't in the punk rock band. They're a bit older than me. They're really cool. They're called Louis and Naif. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're really cool. Right, would you be up for taking part in our paper aeroplane challenge? I'm really scared. I, I don't know how don't to make it. I genuinely, a hundred percent, have no clue where to start on a paper aeroplane. Right, well, we'll, we'll right. give you, you, you some paper. Do some guidance, Hannah. I've never that. made one. <laughs> Is that... Right, you can pink or green. Oh, I like the green. OK, we'll go with green. I'm taking pink. Um, Yusuf is also going to remake his paper aeroplane because yeah. he made one a couple of... Well, well I he didn't says he one. made one a couple of weeks ago, but we, Jimmy told that for you. Yeah. We found out that he cheated and he got someone else to make his paper aeroplane. So we're going to make... Can someone do that for me now? <laughs> no, that's cheating. That's why we're making Yusuf redo it. So Yusuf, you get folded. Yeah, there was a massive outcry. It was phone hacking paper aeroplanes straight afterwards. It's a nightmare. So, yeah. Right, right, get folding. Do you want to? Should I give you a bit of guidance? Yeah, right. do you want to do like okay. a step-by-step step tutorial? Wait, I think it's more fun if there's no guidance. Okay, no guidance. Oh, we're going can, for it. You can watch me a little I'm bit. I'm not gonna lie, you're, you're copying Yusef's first move. <laughs> this is a good starting point. God, I feel like I'm in a paper aeroplane sandwich I right could, here. I, I, I also feel very out of place because ever, no one has ever said that before in their life. <laughs> that's like a boat. I'm on the way to making a boat. Right. Does that count? Airboat, hovercraft. Yeah, that could work. But yeah, Yusuf's got a blazer on and he's looking very smart Ooh. today. And I'm in kind of like my jeans and my big comfy shirt and I feel a little bit like I should have dressed up a bit more. I'm in a dress that's more. too big for me. Yeah, but you, you look nice. You, like, you put effort in and you know, you're all dressed up and looking nice. I feel, I feel out of place. It felt, I knew the cameras were coming. It felt like a special occasion. Oh, Yusuf put I mean, in a also, special effort. What's your t-shirt say? It says uh, this charming man. It's the Smith song. Oh. You no. look really blank then. It's just like... <laughs> I was looking at his purple moustache. Yeah, he has got a purple moustache. I like moustaches. Oh, we know, we know that now. We figured out from earlier. <laughs> what am I doing here? I've got completely lost. Right. Oh, there's... Oh. No, you can't do that because I'm copying you. You okay. can't just copy. Oh, I know where to go. I know where to go now. I could, okay, I could she's always, found uh, her way. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. I, I could always make mine wrong just to sabotage you if you're copying me. Right. Okay. Okay, there's some there. serious folding going on. I'm not going to lie, these two planes look incredibly similar. I think there is some serious copying going on here. Yeah, but I finished here. first, so that wins, right? Yeah, oh, wait, that's, that's right. the rule. We'll go with that. Oh, How are you getting on there, Wait, mine looks wrong. What happened? Mine... I, I don't know. You made it. <laughs> mine is definitely wrong. They're not... Right, OK. They're two very different wing sizes, so I'm not sure how well that's going to fly. But... <laughs> they do look very similar. Right, if you head over with Yusef... To the starting and point. To the starting line. And you're both going to throw your paper aeroplanes in that direction, trying not to hit our lovely camera lady. OK. Right, would you like to go first? I feel... Guests first. Got... Right. Are we not at the same time? We Yusuf, could do at the same wanna... time. It could I be quite know. complicated, but... But yeah, we'll go one at a time, it'll be easier. OK. I'm scared. I'm scared. It's yeah, not I'm going to beat you, but... No. Oh, that was... Come no, on, we can we get a round of applause, applause for that, guys? For that, guys? <laughs> OK, now you, sir. Here's to be showing how it's done, with different wingspans. Right, ready? Oh, there's an arm out. Oh, we're lunging into this. It's got to be a good technique. Really going for it. Just going to throw it as hard it. as I can. Oh. <laughs> right, now we have a... Um, oh. No, oh, sorry, I didn't give you Zip a clap. Give you Zip a clap, there we go. <laughs> I probably didn't deserve it, but I've been practising all week as well. Have you? Yeah, it's disappointing. Um, basic, you can come sit back down. Um, we forgot a tape measure on the first day, so we now measure it in Yousef feet. It's so Yousef has size hand. eight feet, and we're going to start counting. Right. I think cool. about the same distance. They, they both hit the walls. <laughs> they both did veer off that way. I don't know if it's something in your technique. 
Oh, is he going to go round? Maybe it was the plane. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the week count. when he falls over and I will laugh. <laughs> I will laugh. Oh, I've lost count. I've lost count. 15. Oh. 16. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, right. Right. Okay, yours is a little bit ahead, so you've got about, I've got 15, you've got 16, so you beat me, unfortunately. By a Yousef foot. By one Yousef foot. It was all, it was all. That's actually like midway on our leaderboard, so that's a good position to be at, I think. Oh. That's not bad. I mean, yeah, Mark Hole's leader with 25. He got it right near the side of the sofa and had to climb over things and it was a nightmare. I was scared I was going to hit my mum. Aww. <laughs> yeah, at least you're being thoughtful. I wasn't, I was just going to chuck it right over there. No offense. It hit the wall anything, anyway. But. No, it's fun. It's I think it's because they brought such a good, like, plane. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. They look very similar and they flew the same length. I think there was some copying going on there. But we'll no, let it slide. I'm, I'm we'll disappointed with my plane. It's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute... I think <laughs> it's beautiful. Well, it's been lovely having you here. Thank you is for there, having is me. Is there anything else you'd like to promote? Of... We, have, we, have, we don't want it. We have to say this. Not an album out. Look at all this. Yeah. Any Promote. exciting coming up for you? Well, my slipper company's gone down the pan, so... So if you want slippers, you can't get them here, no. is um, basically what we're saying. Promote. Just me. My name's Ellie. Yeah. Fantastic. Take it away. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for Thank that, you Ellie. for having me. Can you... Hey, you okay, go. Just getting a round of applause. So you're going to you, more, you're gonna perform one more song for us, aren't you? One more. It's called Speed Bump. It's from my EP, which is called... The Speed Bump Memory Foam EP. And, and it's on iTunes and Amazon and everything. And are we going to get the orange hippopotamus popping up, maybe? Maybe it will appear. I don't know where to put it in the song. <laughs> maybe you could do like a breakdown in the middle, like a lead two second or so two it's word rap. Orange hippopotamus. <laughs> orange hippopotamus. Two thousand, we have a mouthful. There's your challenge. It's for coming the in then. the next song that I write. I'll keep but a, we'll, we'll squeeze it in. I'll, I'll try. Keep a, I'll keep a close eye on it. Oh, thank you very thank much. Thank you very we'll much, Harry. We'll let you set up.